Hey everyone, all three kiddos are napping, so I'm jumping on here really quick and just sharing something that's been on my mind lately. Uh, we just finished up convention. It was amazing, so much wisdom, so many takeaways. Um, but one thing that I've really been meditating on and um, it was so evident to me at convention was the idea of having a running buddy, having a running partner. Um, I know in our business, sometimes we call them power partners. But it's just so important to have somebody on this journey that is running this with you, that is running this race, has their eye on the ultimate destination, the ultimate prize. Um, you know, when I was listening to different, different speakers, it was so evident that they had that running buddy, that they had that running partner that helped them reach their ultimate goal. Um, and so I want to encourage you to think about who your running buddy is. Maybe you don't have anyone that comes to mind and that can be very discouraging um, because we all need that running partner that's going to encourage us when we're down. That's going to help set the pace when, you know, we don't know if we're going too fast or too slow. Um, that person that's going to hold us accountable and help us get out of bed in the morning and, you know, put on our running shoes and um, do what we need to do for our business. Um, so we all need that running buddy. And if you don't have anyone that comes to mind, it would be a great idea to find somebody. And typically it's going to be somebody in your sideline. It's not, it's not always supposed to be your upline and it's not always supposed to be someone in your downline. It can very well be. And those are great places to look for support. But a lot of times a running buddy emerges from your sideline and listening to a lot of Sapphires and Diamonds speak at convention that's what I noticed. A lot of them, their running buddies were outside of their team entirely. And it was someone that um, was just on a similar journey, had similar goals, and um, typically just a sideline person. So think of that person. Um, I also want you to think about um, maybe you do have a running buddy, but are they really running? You know, are they, are they more of a walking partner? Are they someone that doesn't want to get off the couch at all? Do they not want to move at all? Um, those are not people you want to depend on to be your running buddy, obviously. You want somebody who wants to run the same amount that you want to run, you know? So maybe you're, maybe you're right now shooting for gold. It's great to look for somebody who is looking to do that same thing. Um, maybe you know you're going to be a diamond. Find somebody that has that same desire and really partner with them and encourage each other to run that race and run it well. Um, you know, I, I always hear this quote about how look around at the people, the five people that are closest to you, and then you can see how successful you're bound to be. So if you are surrounding yourself with people who are not um, motivated, who don't have the vision, who love to complain, who, um, you know, just can't get their act together. You know, you can be a blessing and encourage them, but nine times out of 10, it's not going to help your business and it's only going to bring you down personally. So really, you know, make a conscious decision who you're going to surround yourself with. I know for me, my running partner, um, not only is she my running buddy for Plexus, but she's my running buddy for life. Um, she's so encouraging. She knows what I'm going through in life, um, aside from my business. And she can really be there to speak life into me when I need that and vice versa. So I just encourage you guys to take a look around, see who your running buddy is, make sure it's somebody that is really in it to win it and run this race well. And um, yeah, let's lace up those shoes and get running. So have a great day.